We want to get a check of that weather because it feels like winter. It's it does, not winter yet, right? But we're headed but in that like direction. Yeah. Yeah. It just well feels like the holidays. Yeah, and right. the first day of December, so a lot yeah, of us are kind of excited to have the cooler weather. How yeah. are you, ladies, doing on your holiday shopping? Uh, almost done. Oh, I oh, knew yeah. you would be. You're uh -huh. organized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't yep. like leaving anything until the last minute. Okay. Nice. Okay. I would say like I'm 60 percent done. Okay. I went crazy with the uh, Cyber Monday mm. deals. Yeah. So, yeah. And Black Friday. Yeah, I'm wasn't doing too okay. Bad yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's like three moms and two boys. Right. <laughs> That's right. You got to stay on top of things, otherwise you fall behind. Taking a live look outside here in Long Beach, a beautiful shot out there on the water. Uh, we do want to remind folks that there is still a lot of runoff in the ocean, so it is not recommended that you go in there. Also, we still have high surf advisories in effect today until noon. That's for those west-facing beaches in L.A. County, San Bernardino, or Sa Santa Barbara, excuse me, and Ventura. And then down in Orange County, the high surf advisory doesn't expire until 8 o'clock tonight. So we're talking 6 to 12 foot swells. Be very careful out there. Dangerous rip currents and large breaking waves near the shore. Taking a look at our satellite radar, the big question, of course, is if it's going to rain today. Does not look likely. All of that rain is well to our north. And as we zoom into our area, seeing maybe a couple of isolated spotty showers, but really not seeing much in the way of precipitation. For your weather headlines this morning, staying again mostly dry. Chance of rain, though, in the mountains with a small chance of snow there as well. We could see some gusty winds kick up in the Antelope Valley and along the I-5 corridor. Could even get a dusting of snow through the grapevine as well. More rain, however, expected by midweek, and we'll be talking about that in just a bit. In the meantime, out the door, temperatures right now looking uh, pretty chilly. 41 in Corona, 49 in Ontario, 47 in Burbank, 50 degrees in Van Nuys. Good morning to you. The winds are looking pretty calm there as well. But again, things could start getting gusty in the Antelope Valley and right by the I-5 corridor later today, heading into the overnight hours into tomorrow. Visibility compromised down in Big Bear City, seeing some patchy, dense fog there as well. As for your seven day forecast, we are seeing temperatures in the 60s for the most part. We are staying pretty dry for the next few days. And then our next big chance of rain is on Wednesday, heading into Thursday. Could see about an inch or two in most areas before we start drying things out by Friday. For the Inland Empire, the high deserts and the mountains, same story for you, staying pretty dry for the next few days clouding over on Tuesday and then by Wednesday and Thursday we've got another chance of rain snow in the mountains it's dropped down to about 5,000 feet so it'll make for some good skiing and snowboarding for all of you skiers and snowboarders out there